All right, Shalom Israel. This is the brother of Warba coming back to you again with this truth. Before I kick it off, I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakal Kadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and salutations to you, uh, hopeful elect that are out there doing this work in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the planet Earth. And uh, peace and salutations to uh, you. Humble and uh, sincere aqua that are out there listening and that are uh, subscribed to my channel as well. All right. So uh, today's topic is going to be basically on spiritual improvement and growth because uh, the spirit has been moving and uh, really highlighting that topic as of late. And so, um, you know, we're going to get into it and how to address uh, we're going to address it and, you know, just highlight some points on. Just improving yourself, whether it be in your spiritual life, well, primarily in your spiritual life, but also if you uh, improve yourself in your spiritual life and other aspects, it's just gonna it's gonna bleed over into other um, parts of your life, your physical life, your financial life, your family life, whatever the case may be. Okay. So uh, we're going to do that and we're going to bring out some edification uh, through the scriptures today. And Lord willing, you know, this uh, this lesson is edifying. All right. So without further ado, let's get to work. OK, the first uh, scripture that I want to pull is going to be in the book of Second Peter, because the one thing we got to understand, man, is in this in this walk of ours, you if you're not growing, you're stagnant. OK, or you're ripe. And that's and we have no place for that in, in this walk and in this truth of ours, man. You got to be constantly growing and getting better at your craft. OK, so uh, without that, we're going to go to second Peter and actually I'm going to go to three. All right. Three and verse 18 is where I'm going to start. OK, this scripture right here says uh, this is second Peter verse three, verse 18. It says, but grow in grace. And in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Hamasiah, okay, to him be glory both now and forever. Amen. So, of course, if, you know, when you come into this thing, whether you are, you know, brand new into, into the truth, or if you've been in this thing several years, you know, studying, reading, and improvement is key, and it's expected you know, as you, as you, you know, continue to toil and do the work and the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. So you, you know, you, once you're a babe, you know, babes only are babes for a certain period of time. Well, if you're not growing, if you're not doing anything to, to make progress, then you're not going to be of any help or any use to, you know, the Lord for when he may need you. Okay. And so also, just like I said in the beginning of this lesson, you know, the Lord has uh, highlighted that, you know, highlighted this topic recently or lately as a late, you know, and it's got Israel just pushing to better themselves, you know, whether it's, you know, spiritually or whether they're in their daily lives, you know, always be looking forward to do something or to improve yourself, you know, change, make change. OK, grow. All right. Don't stay in the same state that you were in, you know, six months ago or last year or the year before that, you know, abound. Try to be different, man. OK, if you if you don't like the way something is, like I always say, if, like if you have if you have a situation that you don't like something or you don't like the way your life is, you don't like the way something is, change it, man. You know, make moves to do something to make something happen to where you know, that that part is a uh, change and you can actually be about it. So don't talk about it. Be about it, man. You know, because like the scripture says, faith without works is dead. OK, so if you're not if you're not doing anything to grow, then you're of no use to the you know, to the heavenly father. OK, and then you'll find yourself um, getting surpassed by uh, people that are younger than you in the faith. OK, because you decided to sit on your hands and sit still. OK, and it'll show week in and week out that you ain't been doing nothing. You, you haven't been doing anything to uh, further your progression in in the, uh, this ministry. OK. 
This is 2 Timothy 1 and 6. It says, Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir, that thou stir up the gift of the Most High. Okay, which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. So why I brought this scripture out is, you know, with the things that have been going on just recently or as of late, brothers are encouraged and other brothers are encouraging other Akiyam to step up and get motivated to do something to be or to improve themselves, man. Okay. And it doesn't really matter what it is or how much it is. But just make some kind of effort to 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 better yourself, to grow. OK. And how you do that is, you know, reading, studying, you know, making a difference, getting out there and doing something, man. OK. All right. Real talk. And that and with them doing something should encourage you and should stir up the gift of you to be able to do something. The gift that is inside of you. OK. If you see somebody that's uh, that's doing something spiritually, it should spiritually motivate you. If you're a part of the body, if you're in tuned with the body in the spirit, it should motivate you to level up, man. Just like just like even in a video game, when you're playing a video game, you make you 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 have certain games that have give you um, points for progression, man. Okay, you don't just stay the same throughout a video game. Okay, you you level up, you get stronger. All right. You get more attributes, you get better attributes, you get faster, you get, you know, all that different stuff. The same thing applies, you know, when you're in the ministry. OK, if you're if you're building in the, in the faith, you'll be better with precepts. You'll be better with, uh, you know, uh, spirituality. You'll read more. You know, you'll become wiser and you'll make less errors. Well, <laughs> you know, most high willing, you know. But you'll become more wiser and you'll become more useful in the days that come, man. Okay? And you can actually become a great leader if you put yourself to it. If you put if you put um Salaki, so bear with me. I just had a brain fart for a minute. But if you if you put if you put yourself to it, you'll be able to do the things that the Lord has called you to do. Okay? And also, man, furthermore, cut out all Things that aren't going to help you um, progress, you know, whether it be certain habits that you have, a diet that you have or things that you're eating or eat, and, and, and even people in your daily life, man, that aren't helping you to reach the goals that you're looking to achieve, man, and bettering yourself. All right. I just popped into my head. I got a precept for you. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 13 and um uh, Verse 20, it says, um, actually, I'm going to start up, I'm going to start up at verse 19. It says, the desire accomplished is sweet to the soul, but it is an abomination to fools to depart from evil. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. All right. So if you have, if you see that. You know, you have companions or brothers that are around that are pushing you to do better or that are encouraging you to grow, that are encouraging you to, uh, you know, do things that are going to help you in the spirit. You know, you should cleave to people like that because it's going to do nothing but help you and, and further your progress and not um, bring you down. OK. Advancement to grow. Not to retard, which is to slow yourself down. And you know, at the times that we're in, we're at the uh, we're at the end of the we're at the last in the in the last days, the end of the last days. Okay, so this is the time for you to be trying to level up more so than to get yourself stuck, man. Just like the elder uh, Ariella likes to say, the Most High is not going to put gas in the parked car. Okay, and. So the less, this other uh, precept that I got, and I'm going to end on this one. Okay, this is going to be Zephaniah. Salakia, not Zechariah. Zephaniah. Zephaniah 1, 12. And it says, And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their lees that say in their heart, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. Okay, 
So the point I want to highlight in this scripture right here is the Lord says that he's going to punish. He's going to search Jerusalem. You Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, you Jakes, he's going to punish you that are settled on their leaves. Now, that word leaves right there, OK, in the interlinear, in the uh, in the Hebrew, rather, is the word shamar, which basically leaves dregs shamar. Basically, I mean, you settled at the bottom, but that root word means to watch, to keep guard, okay, to watch. Basically, those of us that are watchmen, we are watchmen. When we are in this truth, we are watchmen, okay? This is meaning our walk, meaning the Lord is going to be punishing those who are stagnant in your daily life, in your, in your walk, man, in this faith and in this ministry, if you're not growing, if you're not doing anything to make yourself advance or to 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 um, better yourself, then what are you doing, man? You know, if you're not examining yourself to see how you can make yourself better, whether it's, you know, being more charitable, being more brotherly, you know, helping the body, you know, anything like that. Then you are going to get put to death or you're going to get destroyed, man. The Lord will remove you out of the way and he's going to and he's going to look to men that he can use that are that are actually doing what he called them to do. Just like the parable of the talents, man. OK. The Lord gave him talents to do different things with. OK, don't be the guy that buries his in the ground and, 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 and waits. OK. Because that's not going to benefit you at all. And so with that, you know, I hope this lesson's been edifying. It was quick, straight to the point. So uh, with that, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakal Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the humble, humble elect and uh, hopeful elect. And Shalom.